All right, everyone, welcome to Deal of Tech 101, aka Black Man Tour, as I discuss information technology, also known as IT. And in today's episode, I want to go over two important devices that you may have in your home, especially for just general consumers, and as well as some IT pros. But this video is pretty much for the home DIYers on the weekends who are not necessarily IT professionals, but they are people who are a little bit uh, tech savvy enough to get their systems connected accordingly and everything. So um, what I have here in front of me is I have an Aries Surfboard SB8200. And this used to be a modem that I had in my wiring closet. And I used to use this, of course, because it had not only for my cable or broadband connection, but of course I got my power here. And I also have my two um, ports here for my RJ45 cables to connect to the network, which we're going to get into that in a second. But at least every couple of years, especially if you're with Comcast, they will want you to upgrade this device, especially if you're going to be owning your own equipment for home. So let's go ahead and jump into some connection tips here. So if any of you decide that you don't want to purchase the single modem slash router combined that comes from your service provider, you can opt out of that and you can actually go to Walmart or Best Buy and you can actually pick up your own modem to connect, but you are responsible for upgrading this every couple of years. So you get everything connected, you have your lights here, you have your power, you have your download, your upload, and your internet icon here. And all these will normally be blue. They will go in order here and you will know you have an outage based on here, but you are responsible for this equipment if it does break. So say so you got everything connected and you're ready to start using your actual home router, you have to get a wireless router. And here I have a Linksys EAS 40, uh, uh, 6400. And this one, so yes, EA 6400. And this right here had like a little card attached to it. And I basically was able to configure this pretty, pretty much on my own. Now you're gonna have your wireless uh, key and your password on the back of this as well. You also got your serial number and MAC address so that you can recognize it when you're connecting it and everything. But basically what you would do is on the back of your modem, what you would have is you would need to have your cable coming out of your wall from your service provider and it will plug directly into this. This is what brings the internet to your home. And now you want to spread it out to your network. Some people use, used to plug a network cable directly into here, then they'll plug this other end directly into the back of their computer. But for those of you who have more than one device, you have your wireless router. So this is where your wireless router comes into play. So then you will go from your port one here, and then you will basically plug this into the back of your wireless router. Now keep in mind you want to make sure your power is connected. If you need to reset it, you can. You have Ethernet ports 1, 2, 3, and 4. The fifth one is always going to be where you're going to be plugging your service provider into. So this will be basically your WAN, wide area network, going into this device, and then your LAN is going to be your local area network plugged into here. If you decide you want to add some kind of storage media, for your wireless devices, you can plug that in there. And anything that has a WPS, where you don't want to type in the password, you can basically click that button and then go back to that device and plug it up. So the first thing that you want to do is once you get this plugged up, you just basically take this and plug it into your yellow RJ45 port here for internet. And that way, all your wireless devices, your phones, your laptops, are gonna to connect to this device here, and the internet connection is gonna pass on through here and come into your modem, modulation, demodulation. It also has a reset button here if you need to reset that for any reason. You never really should have to access this. And then it goes into here, and then it comes out and goes outside. And so that right there, people, is just a basic connection tip right there for your devices so definitely like listen and subscribe div tech 101 aka black mantle look forward to bringing more content to you all soon